sugar boogers and welcome back to my channel for part one of let's speed build a gamble rambler rambler home i don't know guys but basically what this is is just a quick um you know it's kind of testing in the waters treading in the waters of speed building and building houses on camera um i know normally uh people like to kind of talk while they're doing this as if they're almost doing a let's play i promise in my next video um that will that will happen if that's what you guys want but right now we're kind of doing a mixture of a let's play and a speed build and uh so right here this is all kind of sped up just a little bit maybe twice as fast as it normally was i decided to go ahead and create a home that is essentially um complete in every way for dirt freaking cheap dirt cheap i do believe the final result of this home not to give it away is actually in the seven thousand dollar range so i really love the way that this house is coming together so far just the the outside the shell it was so easy to put together and it almost like was effortless i love it the the awning on the outside just the the overall size of the home is is pretty substantial and again i cannot believe as the end result you get all this for like 8k um i do believe this is a really good home for starting out so here all that i'm doing is just kind of figuring out the outside what do i want to do how do i want this to look you know what kind of doors and things do i want to use now typically i would keep things relatively cheap but i do feel like you know, for some reason, it really bothers me when the outdoor door looks really cheap. And, and, and I don't know, I just always like to have a nice, a nice front door because that's the first thing. Well, one of the first things people are going to notice. So as you can see, the back of the house has a pretty large um, master bedroom. And this master bedroom is really, 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 really big. It's a great size. It's going to fit everything that you're going to need it to fit and then some. Um, okay, so we're moving on to windows. I always have a serious issue with placing windows and what do I want to use and which one's going to fit. And I always, <laughs> I either put too much or not enough and then we look like we're in a bat cave. So here, um, I took these little cheapy windows and I just kind of plop them in like so, trying to lighten up the place because it is kind of small. So I do want to bring some of the outdoors inside, if that makes sense. And of course, you know, if your sim is just a little more richer than mine, you can totally swap out the um, the windows, obviously. So bathroom, wasn't sure what I wanted to use, but decided just to go with these windows because I feel like it just um, made more sense. And also any peeping times or, you know, creep of Cindy's or whatever you want to call them they can't um they can't really see your, your shiz so here I'm deciding you know what wood flooring cheapest way to go gonna look the best really gonna make this house look like a home it's not necessarily a trailer it's more of a rambler you know it's not necessarily trailer park status but it's not necessarily like modular home status i guess it's kind of like a it's a mix of those things i really love the um the tile i feel like that also spices things up just just a hair so i do like that and i think i am deciding wallpapers now i wasn't sure what color to go with y'all know me love a neutral color palette um i'm not really one to kind of go all balls to the wall and do super colorful looks um trying to kind of branch out of that a little bit uh, but again, loving tile. Tile to me is like, it really just brings things up. And with the tile and, and, and on the wall and on, on the flooring, it kind of breaks up the, the kitchen from pretty much the rest of the house. Because as you can see, you know, the living quarters the, the living room and, and um, the dining room are quite, are quite tight. Um, so going to the outside, uh, I'm picking out some, you know, just some outdoor papers wallpaper whatever decided to go with the um kind of like wicker or uh what is it called lattice lace sort of style i felt like that really made the house look a little a little nicer again i'm going for the nicest house for the least amount of money the most bang for my buck so we're deciding that uh jennifer doesn't know what she wants to do with her life and we're gonna go ahead and put some of this uh crap and shiz on here what do we go with jen what do we go with all right, so I decided to go with kind of this uh, steel grayish blue color. Um, I just thought it really completed the house. Also matches the front door, which is beautiful. And um, I actually don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just playing around with the window. So this is actually part number one of let's build or let's speed build, I guess. 
And um, in the next part, we are going to go ahead and kind of furnish the house and also, um, I think, yeah, just mostly furnish the house. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this video was really short and sweet, but I hope you liked it. Next time, I'm probably going to do it kind of as a let's play or live kind of sort of thing. Um, but I just thought it'd be something different and fun and that way I can get out my needs to want to build and also kind of bring something else to my channel, I suppose, occasionally. So part number two will probably be up in less than a week. I have the whole house already built and filmed, so you don't have to worry about taking away from anything else, boo-boo. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And like usual, I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Bye, guys.